Well, it's February, and we're here with David Yonkai from the Lulac Political Letter. Today, we're going to talk about President's Day, so welcome. Welcome aboard. Thank you. So, of course, how did President's Day come to be? President's Day actually started in 1885 when George Washington's birthday was declared as a national holiday. Uh -huh. And it stayed that way up until 1971 when the Universal Holiday Employee Act was passed, and that became like the three-day weekend. A lot of people think that Lincoln's birthday was a national holiday, but that's not the case. It was just Washington's birthday. Well, were there diehard Lincoln and Washington people who felt those should be separate holidays? Not really. There were some state legislators in Illinois that felt that because uh, Lincoln was from Illinois. But hey, three-day weekend—you can't argue with something like that. Do you a think three-day holiday? Pay attention to the president. And, and the history of the presidents. I would love to be able to tell you that yes, people study studiously about the presidents, but not really. And when you take a look at some of the advertising for the mattresses and all this kind of stuff, you have Washington and Lincoln doing sales. I mean, you know, there's even um, oyster, oyster places presidents that will do. Sales. Presidents Day sale for oysters, cars, whatever you want. Uh, people <laughs> do pay attention when there's like good documentaries on, but you'd be hard pressed to talk about like what the what the minor tier presidents um, have done in their lifetime so do people pay attention yeah maybe all right well if they yeah maybe pay attention why is it so important it's important because the presidency is an exclusive club to the to date only 44 men have become leaders of this particular country the united states of america someday we would like to see perhaps a woman but it's an exclusive club, only 44 people, so that's why it's important. I never heard of it put like that, an exclusive club. It's an exclusive club. Not many people um, could say that they were a president of, of the United States, a president of a country. So, I have to ask, were you ever president of anything? Yes, I was. I was president of my eighth grade class. And I peaked then. My political really? career peaked, well, yes. Well, there you go. Yeah, there Very you go. cool. I was never president of anything. But you told me that about the about the list of presidents that you had to read. Yeah, because our senior year in high school, we had to remember all the presidents in order. And, uh, yeah, so I could do that. But and I bet you did very well. I did okay, yeah. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, let's talk about your tie. Tie. The tie basically is All You Need Is Love by The Beatles. And the reason why I wore that today is because in addition to this being President's Month, it's also Valentine's Month. And it of course, is. there were presidents who were good lovers and some presidents that, well, eh, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, that's why I wear the tie today. All, All you right. need is love, everybody. I love it. It's beautiful. So Be I hope you have a great President's Day and, of course, a great Valentine's Day. And basically, to the people you love, be love them or be tolerant either way. <laughs> All right, great. David Yonka, where can we find you online? Uh, Lulac Political Letter, www.lulacpoliticalletter.blackspot.com. All right, thanks so much. Happy to be here. Thank you. Here's David.